Today, we're eating over 100 years of foods by time traveling to every decade to find the best and worst foods in history. Some of these foods are even banned, starting with the 1900s. Wow, the food for the 1900s looks so good. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. You can't wear those clothes in the 1900s. Uh, oh, much better, boys. 1900s was an interesting time for food. Hershey Kisses was introduced to the world in 1907. And did you know that each drop was wrapped by hand? What? Okay, Ray, let's try it out. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Tastes like chocolate. Of course it is. It is chocolate. That's true, I guess. For next food, we had the peanut butter jelly sandwich. The first peanut butter and jelly sandwich appeared in a magazine in 1901. Wow, that was so long ago. It wasn't that long ago. I was 10 years old. When okay, sorry. <laughs> You're not that old. Finally, let's try it. Oh, ooh, I know. Hi. Do you want some? I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, I know what the next food is. It's Coca-Cola. When it first came out, it was medicine. And when they first came out, they only were sold for five cents. What? How do you know that, Ray? You just know. Let's try it. Oh, cheers. Wow. Oh, that's delicious. So, Ray, what would you rate this decade one out of five? Oh, honestly, it was pretty good. I think it's a five out of five. Wow. Okay, time for me to go to the next decade. Be careful, because the next decade is crazy. Okay. Wait, where are we? Oh, Zong, you look so good. You too, Ray. Oh, thank you. Oh, is that the Angry Chef? <gasps> Welcome to the 1910s. Wait, Angry Chef, what are you doing here? I'm here to explain to you the foods in the 1910s. In the 1910s, that's when a lot of candies and snacks became popular. Oh, what do we got here? Oreos were first introduced in 1912 in New York City, and they were sold for only 25 cents. That is so cheap. Hey, I want to eat one. Try one. Tastes like Oreos. Mm. So, Angry Chef, how did the Oreos become so popular? They became popular after the twist, lick, and dunk campaign. Oh, so that's why I love licking and dunking my Oreos. That makes sense. Can you tell us more about the Lifesavers, Angry Chef? Lifesavers were also introduced in 1912. They were a popular summer candy because they could withstand the heat better than chocolate. Oh, so that's why I could put them in my pocket. That's very smart. Oh. So, can you tell us a story about the potato chips? Potato chips were invented in the 1800s when a customer kept returning his fries back to the chef because they were too soggy, too thick, and too salty. So the chef got angry and he made them extra crispy, extra salty, and extra thin. To everyone's surprise, the customer loved them and that is how the potato chip was born. Oh, wow. Wait, Angry Chef, I thought we we're in the 1910s. That is where you're wrong. They started to be manufactured in the 1910s. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I actually really like this decade, so I'll rate it a three out of five. Yeah, I think so too. 1910s was fun. And now let's time travel to 1920s. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Whoa, wait. So where are we? I have no idea, but let's look for the food. Oh, where are we? Wait, is that the angry chef? Wait, what are you doing here? I'm here on a date. Should we join? I, I guess. So what we got next? In the 1920s, it was a decade of hidden parties. Due to prohibition, secret clubs were very popular. And so was Kool-Aid. I remember Kool-Aid. That is because you're old. Yeah. What song? I can't believe Kool-Aid was made back in 1920s. Yes, and it was made with water and powder. Wow, which makes you Kool-Aid. Let me try this. Mmm. Did you know you could actually dye your hair with Kool-Aid? Well, I did not know that. And if you like chocolate and peanut butter, they invented Reese's in 1928. And fun fact, they used to be called penny cups because you could buy them for a penny. How is it? It tastes pretty good, Chef. Good. Wait, is that salad? Weirdly, in the 1920s, salad became really popular. Wait, so what did they eat before the 1920s? I don't know. <laughs> oh! My salad! Oh, Ray! In the 1920s, they invented fruitcakes. Wow, that actually looks really delicious. Thank you for once. I made that. Okay, let me try. Pretty delicious. Of course, she made it. Good job, Grandma. So what do you think of the food from the 1920s? Uh, everyone got a lot healthier. I think it's a five out of five. One out of five for me. I don't really like the salad. How's your diet, Tom? Good. Time to go to the next decade. Woo! Uh, wait, where am I? Song, I think we're in the 
1930s. Oh no, we're the 1930s. I remember this decade. It was the Great Depression causing millions of Americans to live off the bare minimum. Many people survived on things they could afford, such as bread, canned soup, and casseroles. Wait, what's a casserole? A casserole is a dish where you use a bunch of leftovers and cook it together in a pot because back then people couldn't afford much. It does look really good. Try it. Yum. Yum. Next, we have Wonder Bread. Many people back in the 1930s used to eat bread for dinner. Grandma, do you want some? No, I'm sick of it. So you don't want to eat? No, if you give me some Mr. Beast chocolate, then maybe I'll eat some. Grandma, we're in the wrong decade here. Another food that you see eat a lot back in the 1930s is canned soup. Can I eat the can? No, but you can have some of the soup. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's the canned soup. Why is it that color? Because it's very, very old. That oh. doesn't look very appetizing, Zog. Okay, Ray, try it out. Oh, no. No, oh, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. Okay, so you don't like this? No, I don't really like this decade. So, Ray, what would you rate this food? I think it's a zero out of five, Zog. Yeah, I think it's time for us to go to the next decade. Are you ready? Yes, get me out of here. Okay. Bye. Wait. Where are we? I think we're in the 1940s, Zong. Oh. The 1940s were another decade where there was not too much exciting new foods. Oh. Before we check out the foods, Ray, what are you wearing? Oh, uh, I think um, I have some medals and this. I, I think I'm in the army. Oh, yeah. Um, What are you wearing, Zong? I don't know. You look kind of naughty. Maybe I am. During the World War II, where rationing became more necessary, many families had to survive off the cheap mac and cheese boxes. Let's try to mac and cheese. Is there cheese in this? Pretty good. Mm. Tastes like a mac and cheese. Ray, what is that? Uh, this is minute rice, also known as rice that you cook in one minute. Why did you eat that in the army? Well, in the army, you have limited time and supplies, so this was very convenient. That kind of makes sense. Let's try the rice. It's like rice. Yeah, I think it needs some seasoning. Get that ketchup. Wait, there's nothing in here. What a scam. Ray, what would you rate this decade? One out of five. I think it's like a one out of five. It needs some seasoning. I can understand why it was popular, though. All right, Zong, I think it's time to time travel to the next decade. Let's go. Whoa. Where am I? Zong, welcome to the 1950s. Where's Ray? So guys, what we got here? McDonald's and Burger King started in the 50s because everyone wanted their food fast. I did not know McDonald's was invented in the 1950s. I do love my McDonald's. Did you guys also know McDonald's in Australia is called Macca's? Wow. I have another fun fact. Did you know that every 15 hours, a new McDonald's opens? Whoa. Whoa. I guess I do eat a lot. Why don't we give this a try? I will start with the fries. Okay, okay. try it out. What do you think? A little crispy. You can tell it's been fried a couple times. Yeah, all right, let's see this. Woo. <laughs> Whoa! It's pretty good! Okay, my turn to try the Happy Meal. And as you guys know, McDonald's look the same in every decade. So Ooh, what we got here? It's that apple. I don't really eat vegetables, so. Yeah. Zong? Oh, chicken nuggets. Yo, they are my favorite too, you know? Wow, you want one? Mm. No. Wow, we even got a free toy. That is not that cool. Well, the food is good, but I don't think the toy was that cool. Next, we got Burger King. Fun fact, when Burger King was first invented, these burgers were only served to the kings. So that's why it's called Burger King. No, just kidding, you guys are dumb. I really thought that was real. Zong, give this burger a try. Okay. Oh, enjoy. Whoa, look at this burger. It's kind of juicy. So mm. this one what it looks like in the 1950s. Oh. It tastes pretty good. I'll give you another fun fact while he's eating this burger. Okay. Back in the 1950s, this burger only cost 29 cents. Whoa! Wait, what? Mm. I think McDonald's tastes better. I prefer Burger King. I prefer my restaurant. Nobody likes your restaurant. Yeah, yo, hey. These waffles used to be called froffles because they were frozen waffles. Then people started calling them eggos because they had an eggy taste to them. Oh, interesting. Ooh, should we try a boo? Yeah, let's try it. Go try, try one. Try. Oh. Wait, what about the syrup? Mm. Man, he can't. Maybe it actually does need syrup. And maybe some butter. All right, gentlemen. So what do you rate this decade? I really like McDonald's. I'll give it four out of five stars. You know what? I'll probably give it like a one out of five stars because it's very unhealthy. Zong, before you can move on to the next decade, you have to do the most famous dance that was invented in the 1950s, the bunny hop. Okay. Come on, like this. Oh, okay. I'm going to hop into my next decade yeah, now. Where am I? <gasps> Is that a police car? Yo, no, 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 no. We have to get out of here right now. Come on, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Where are we, Boo? Zong, we're in the 1960s. 
nasty. But why were there police cars outside? I don't know. I just teleported. How about you? Me too. I just got here. Should we look for the food? Yeah, let's look for the food. Come on. Okay. The 1960s is so different. Oh, I think I found the food. Look. Wait, what is that? Is that pasta? The 60s have some really groovy new foods. And did you guys know, in the 60s, the Pop-Tarts were invented. They even had a little cute mascot named Milton the Toaster. Oh, what? Who's that? I don't know. We're too young for this. Get one. I Thank get one. You, yo, Pop-Tarts. Okay, okay, so this is the Pop-Tarts from the 60s. So it's very old. Oh, here we go. Yo, it's solid. The 60s has some cool food. Next, we have spaghetti ice. This particular food was created in 1965. Wow, it's really old. Let's give it a try. You ready, Zong? Cheers. Yeah. I don't know about this one. No, I don't really like this one. So what rating would you give the food from the 60s? Honestly, Zong, it wasn't even that bad. So I'll give it like a 5 out of 5. Whoa, that's really good. I love it. Guys, before you move on to the next decade, you need to do the most popular dance from the 60s. Oh, I know. In the 1960s, they have this popular dance called The Twist. Let me show you guys. Okay. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, there's a new portal. Uh, okay. Bye, Zong. Where is this? Oh, welcome to the 1970s. Oh, yeah, baby. What type of food do we have for 1970s? Well, in the 1970s, a lot of food was focused on being convenient. Ooh, I like that. In 1970s, instant ramen became really popular because you could get all your food in a box. Wait, don't you mean in a cup? Same thing. To make this, all you have to do is pour water in it. Really? Yep, that's why it's so convenient. Wow. And just like that, that's how you make instant ramen. Wait. Ooh. Awesome. Not after it touched your mustache. Yeah. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, huh. what's the next food? Oh, well, the next food is the Jello. It was very popular in the 1970s, and they even put it in salad. Ew, salad? That thing they made in 1920s? Yeah, but this made it better, so it's okay. Oh, look at this Jello. You ready to try it? Yeah. Cheers. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Tastes like Jello. Wow, you ate that whole thing? Mm hmm. Rick, get your head out of here. Oh, I thought you were washing my hair. Ruining my next food. Food. What is that? Hamburger pasta. Hamburger pasta? Yeah, they invented this back in the 1970s. And I guess what they did is they mixed the hamburger meat with pasta. Oh, very convenient. How does that taste? It tastes exactly what it sounds like. Hamburger pasta? Yeah. So what do you think of this decade? Uh, I think it's like a three out of five. It's not bad. I agree. Okay, let's go to the next decade. Yeah, let's boogie out of here. Starting in the 80s, people wanted even easier foods, and that's how we came up with microwavable food. Oh! Is that chicken nuggets? Fun fact about the nuggets, McDonald's hired a chef to create a new type of food, and that chef was so happy with his recipe that he said it was the greatest thing he ever cooked, and that was the McNugget. Uh, These are apparently microwavable chicken nuggets. That Tastes is really good. Wow! What is this? These are Sloppy Joes, a very popular dish in the 80s. Why is it called Sloppy Joes? You're about to find out. Oh, they're kind of all right. It doesn't taste the best, but also not that bad. As you guys know, everybody likes popcorn, but in the 1980s, when popcorn was made to be made in the microwave, it became super, super popular. And in the same year it was invented, they sold over $300 million worth of popcorn. That's crazy. Let's try it. I don't know what popcorn was that popular. What do you guys think? I'll give it like a three out of five. I'll probably give it like a five out of five. I'm a little bit biased on the popcorn side because I'm a movie junkie, so popcorn is really good. It is really good. Time to go to the next decade. <laughs> In the 90s, it was kind of a weird time for food. Why? Because a lot of new foreign food became popular in America. One of the foods we're gonna try is pasta salad. Okay, let's try this pasta salad. I'm gonna take a piece. Oh my God, yo, this pasta is really, really good. That is actually really freaking good. No wonder it's so popular. Another popular food that was invented in the 90s was sushi. Sushi, that's my favorite food in the whole entire world. Guys, I want you to comment down below if you can guess where the sushi is from. All right, guys, let's try the sushi. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, this is actually really fire. Boo, what do you think of this decade? You know what, Zong? These food are really, really good. So I'm gonna have to give it like five out of five. I'm born in the 1990s, all right? So I'm a little bit biased. That makes sense. Time to go to the next decade. Here we go. Fun fact, I actually grew up in the 2000s. And growing up, I actually ate a lot of Starbucks and pizza. Yeah, this kind of looks like your kind of diet. I don't know anything about this food. Well, that is because you grew up in the wrong decade, Grandma. Let's try this. Mmm, it's pretty good. Mmm, the pizza is delicious. Wait, who's that? Wait, stop, look. Is he robbing the ACM? Stop, stop it. Yeah. Stop, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just trying to get my money. Wait, 
Are you angry, chef? Wait, are you Zong? Yes. Are you eating pizza? Yeah. I'm out of here. Wait, wait. What? what? Doing in this decade? Did we just witness a crime? That was crazy. But anyways, what do you guys think of this decade? I think it's like a three out of five. It's okay. For me, it's a five out of five. It don't look good to me. Well, it's because you can't relate, Grandma. Damn. Too old. It's time to go to the next decade. Ooh. Bye bye. Whoa. What is this? Welcome, Welcome to 2010. To what is this? In 2010, there were actually a lot of trends, and this is the Impossible Burger, a vegan burger that looks like a meat burger. What? Boo, we have to try this. Come on, boo. Give what? it a try, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, you can still eat it, though. Huh. Eat it! Okay. Uh, it tastes uh, like a real burger. That is so crazy. So, what is this? Is it a lollipop? It's not. This is actually a cake shaped in a lollipop form. Oh, interesting. Oh. It became really popular back in 2010. Let's try it. You're supposed to bite it? Oh yeah, my look, God. it's a cake. Wow, it's really good. That's I'm gonna eat this for my birthday. Hey, yo, mm. Ray Ray. What is the next food? This is matcha, a Japanese green tea ground to a fine texture. Ooh, you can smell how finely it's ground up. I'm rating your stirring one out of 10. Let's try this. And the drink tastes like one out of 10 as well. So what would you guys rate this? Out of us, I really like it, especially the cake pop. I give that a five out of five. I also give it a five out of five. I love matcha, I love tea, and it's the year I got my first Michelin star. Time to go to the final decade. Here we go. Oh, is this the final decade? Wait, Grandma, what are you doing here? I'm just shooting some basketball. Okay, let's see. Oh! Now that we're in the 2020s, I brought you your Mr. Beast chocolate bars. Do you want to try? Yes! Whoa, what do you think? Mmm, it's actually delicious! I know you've been waiting all your life for this, so I hope this was worth the 100 year wait. I love it! I guess it was not for nothing after all. While Grandma finishes the chocolate bar, let's try some Primey, which is another really popular drink from the 20s. Wow, it's pretty good. That was all the decades. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wait, there's another portal. I'll see you later, Grandma. Take me with you.